the Weather Channel. It has been an intense day in the Caribbean. I'm Lisa Moser. We turn to our tropical weather expert, John Hope, for the latest details. John? Thank you, Lisa. It has indeed been intense down there, and the reason we have a very intense hurricane, certainly one of the most powerful ones we've ever seen in the Atlantic Basin this late in the year anyway, and not very many other hurricanes have ever been out there that's much stronger. We have a new advisory out now, and I don't think I'm going to have the graphic for you, but the winds now have been increased to 180 miles per hour. That makes it a very dangerous Category 5 hurricane. The uh, bottom limit, you know, for Category 5 is just above 155 miles an hour, and here this one is all the way up to 180. Now, it's moving toward the west-northwest rather slowly, and a lot of folks here in the United States and around the Caribbean want to know where this thing is going to go, but there's still some uncertainty out there. I just have to tell you that, and that's because it's not moving very fast. It's not forecast to move very rapidly at all. We think that it's going to hang around the Caribbean, the Northwest Caribbean, for as long as two days or maybe a little bit longer than that. There's some possibility then it could come far, farther north. There's a possibility it could edge in toward Belize or the Yucatan Peninsula. And we just are not yet in a position to say, and the National Hurricane Center isn't either, and uh, I don't believe anybody else is. So all we can do is watch this very carefully and let you know what happens. Now, I don't have that latest advisor. Yes, I do, too, uh, from another source. Uh, can we get that? Yeah, we have that up. Here's the la very latest here, 17.2 and 83.6. That's now 200 miles south-southwest of Grand Cayman Island. And as you see there, the winds have increased to 180 miles an hour. The barometric pressure is an incredibly low. 906 millibars. Now this is a pretty compact storm. Let me go ahead and show you uh, the warning area here. Uh, we have hurricane warnings and incidentally on this new advisory the hurricane warnings have been extended westward to cover the entire north coast of Honduras. Uh, that just in the new advisory coming out. But as, as of this hour they're not actually reporting any hurricane force winds or even tropical storm force winds that I can find on the north coast of uh, Honduras. Hurricane watch and tropical storm warnings remain in effect up here for the Cayman Islands. The winds in the Cayman Islands are not very strong either, just about 9 or 10 miles an hour this afternoon, and that is all. So what you have in between the Cayman Islands and Honduras is this incredibly powerful hurricane with top winds up to 180 miles an hour. Here's a satellite picture to show you, a very close up, and you can see this awesome looking eye. Stadium effect, which means it's just wider at the top than it is at the bottom, and it goes down kind of stepwise to a small eye, 20 miles in diameter down at the surface of the ocean. We can uh, focus, zoom out on this a little bit. There you see that eye of the hurricane moving toward the west-northwest, and up there is Cuba and the Yucatan Peninsula. Here's the infrared picture where we colorize tops for you. And it is certainly an extremely well-developed hurricane and shows no signs of getting any less organized as time goes by. Here's the wind field, not extending out too far, 140 miles and perhaps even a little less than that. Uh, the tropical storm force winds, the hurricane force winds out 60 or 70 miles or so from the center. Now here's a picture where you can get a little better perspective how far it is from the United States. It's about 640 miles or so south of Miami, Florida. And again, if it's going to affect the United States, it's not going to do it until much later on in the week. It certainly isn't going to do it right away. Now, we're not quite ready to declare the hurricane season over yet, but out in the Atlantic, uh, in the middle Atlantic, and the East Atlantic, we don't see anything out there we think is a candidate for the next storm at all. And we're glad to be able to report finally that Lester has been met its demise. That's uh, no more advisors on Lester. 